What is going down? Welcome to Mr. Bar Exam on AboveTheLaw.com. I am Sammy Goldberg, and right now things are getting crazy. Um, I am in constant fear of failing this bar exam. I feel as if no matter what I do, it's not enough, and there's not enough time to cram all the information that you need to know in your head. There's just so much, there's so many New York distinctions to go along with every subject. It's an issue differentiating between New York distinctions and MBE. I'm worried I'm going to confuse the two and I'm going to apply New York on MBE, I'm going to apply MBE in New York. So there's a lot of stuff going on in your head, there's just so much to do. Um, what I'm trying to do right now is get through a subject a day and I figure once I get through one subject, I just go through the multiple choice and the essays that go along with that particular subject. Um, I'm trying to get through all these subjects this week, so hopefully by next Tuesday, I'll have um, an idea of all the different laws in my head, and then by this coming Tuesday, I'll just be able to do multiple choice questions and essay questions until the actual um, bar exam, but it seems a little difficult to do, so I'm hoping I actually make that happen. What I want to talk about right now is the actual exam. Um, the New York portion of the bar exam is this. You go there in the morning, the morning portion of the test, You've got 50 multiple choice questions. They're New York related, obviously, New York law. Then you have three essays. Then you break for lunch. Then you have two essays when you come back from lunch and an MPT. Um, an MPT is different. It's worth 10%, but there's no law involved in it. They give you a case file and they give you a library that goes along with your case file. And in the library is a bunch of different cases that has law. So you have to take the law out of your library and put it to the facts in your case file. So this is very different. The problem is a lot of people, including myself, are ignoring this part of the MPT because they're so interested in getting information in their head. They're like, you know what, there's no law involved with that. I can just wing that. But I really do think it's important to practice. I'm going to try to practice that as much as possible because it is worth 10% and that can be the one thing that makes or breaks you on the exam. Adderall. Adderall is everywhere. Almost everybody in a law school has Adderall or knows somebody who's on an Adderall prescription. And people on Adderall go crazy. You always see them working. They're always working hardcore. They're always so focused that you can always stay up later than everybody else who's not on Adderall. So I've got something to tell you. Everybody out there who's not on Adderall, here's what I recommend to you. I recommend some brain foods. Brain foods are supposed to get your mind going, get your mind working. So here are some brain foods that you should eat to the people out there that don't have Adderall. Avocados are a good brain food. Fish. And chicken is also a good brain food. And they say blueberries and berries is also a good brain food. So you should eat those while you're studying. What I found helpful while I'm studying is this. Instead of starting an outline in the beginning, I'm starting the outline in the middle. Because I know myself and I know throughout the bar program, I probably read the first part of an outline, then I got tired and skipped the second half. So if you read the second half, at least that'll be framed in your mind. You'll know it. And then you can go back and do the first. Uh, the day of the exam, I recommend that everybody out there you wear sweatpants because it's going to be cold in there. You want to be comfortable. And now we don't have to sit there in jeans and a belt. This way, it's sweatpants. You're relaxed. You can lean back and do what you got to do. Um, I'm not doing the show until after the bar exam. I'm going to take some time off and just study. But when we come back, it will be the full experience of what it was like to take the bar. I will be telling you about everything. I will be discussing the bar. Um, so we can look forward to that. And everybody out there, I wish you the best of luck on the bar exam. I hope everybody passes, including myself. And you're watching Mr. Bar Exam, but you should be studying for the bar.